Good afternoon. It's my honor and privilege to be here at the Pitch CMO Summit. I'm particularly happy to have Mr. Sudan Chuvats uh, to be delivering the keynote address. And Mr. Watts is uh, special, I, and I'll come back to that. We have 20 speakers today. All of them are thought leaders. Uh, uh, you know, we have Mr. H. Mari also making a stand on the session, the power of emotion in marketing. He sacrificed his lunch and he's polishing off on his presentation. Uh, Mr. Sham Singh is the investment banker, uh, chairman of NR Capital, and partner Nawal. All my Indian colleagues from business world and exchange from India and industry leaders. I said Mr. Suranshu was a special person to do this. Uh, for many, many years in, in media, uh, we work with professionals and leaders from the media industry. And that's good. Uh, that's not a bad thing. But if you look at some of the media companies that have grown, and they have grown and transformed and they've grown at a scale uh, that wasn't envisaged when those companies existed uh, was because they got leaders from outside the media industry. And again, a lot of people have, my friend Suresh is there, a lot of people have a different point of view on that. But my personal point of view is when me and Nawal and Amit started exchange for media, we didn't come from the media industry. I and Nawal did what most Indians do before they do anything. We went to an engineering school, then we went to a business school, and we didn't start exchange for media to build a media company. We wanted to build a marketplace for media advertising communication and we tried that for about three and a half years. We were ahead of time when we started it in 2001. The reason I'm saying it because we were outsiders, we had no clue, we had no limits on ourselves. We just keep, kept doing what kept coming along in opportunities that were thrown our way. So in that sense, the point I'm trying to make is you looked at the AV of the Viacom group, the Viacom 18 media group. Uh, Mr. Watts, who comes from Levers, has been at the helm of affairs for more than seven years, and uh, I think he's just getting started. And his own, while the theme today is transforming, transforming business in the digital age, uh, his theme is harmonizing chaos in a new world order. That could be the billboard in every media company, especially in our office, because we in the media industry are dealing with challenges that are unprecedented technology challenges, audience challenges, uh, cost pressures, being futuristic, uh, the entrepreneurial opportunity that is throwing for colleagues in the business which creates its own turnover. So really, uh, he has transformed the business, grown the business and is now harmonizing his own business in a way uh, that the 800 million people that Viacom Media Group reaches out to are able to enjoy new worlds. So I hope when you listen to him, you will get something that has a structured perspective, has the benefit of experience that comes from building a large media company that he's built. And third, being futuristic and thinking five to ten years ahead because the kind of background he has, he has been trained to do that. Uh, since I and Naval are part of the ecosystem. I don't want to keep a long presentation, but I have two slides to show. And these are, you know, I got them on a WhatsApp from a friend, two different friends, and uh, uh, the first one. You know, because you can't talk of marketing audiences without talking of digital, they're kind of synonymous. And I got this yesterday. They said the old saying of seven sins, when it's applied to the marketing world, and you know, the seven sins in the digital world are accomplished. Lust is accomplished through Tinder. I am not a Tinder. Um, neither is Mr. Watts nor is Novel. I can talk about that. Uh, to me, I don't need it. Uh, I am not on the Yelp, you know. But I have other ways to fulfill that. Uh, read LinkedIn. I am on LinkedIn, but I'll tell you, my being on LinkedIn has nothing to do with me. If you know, I will. You know, it's it's a daily activity for me to put thoughts because. I get feedback from the community that it helps them. It helps me certainly. So I do it as a way of giving back, but I understand what he's trying to say. Sloth, which is Netflix. I wouldn't call it sloth. I would have called it something else, but because it's trying to put it in the context, rap, Twitter, that I definitely agree. Uh, and envy is Facebook, you know. Everybody's life on Facebook is like, you know, Donald Trump's life or whoever's life you like, you know, that means 
his life or Shahrukh's life and pride is Instagram. I've recently gone on to Instagram and you know, I'm trying to be Instagram friendly. I also got another uh, WhatsApp, uh, Ramit the second. Uh, and you know, in an increasingly digital world, the fact that we are doing this conference face to face, the fact that you're in the room and we keep talking about this impact of technology and what machine learning and artificial, artificial intelligence will do to our business. But the human touch will always have a premium and it will always stay. Uh, you know, the value of being able to have a conversation or kill somebody, not literally kill, but kill in a conversation, you can't get that done. I mean, Twitter cannot give you that experience. But the more we are connected, uh, this is a word I came across recently, JOMO, the joy of missing out, feeling content with staying in and disconnecting as a form of self care. And its antonym is FOMO. So, really, we live in a very paradoxical world. We want JOMO and we want FOMO. So, marketing today has become about dealing with paradoxes. I want to end by saying, I've given this example in the past and I would like to give it as my parting example. I'm a student of marketing, so I don't know enough. I'm learning. I like that song called Higher Ground from UB40. The more I know, the less I know. Um, I want to say that the stereotypes are changing. There is a new normal. And though it's a now an 18 month old movie, I'll refer to Ocean's Eight. It is an all women cast. When we watched Ocean's 11 and Ocean's 13, we could have never imagined of a Ocean franchise having all women cast. So the, the role models are changing. Um, what consumers and citizens and individuals are looking up to is changing. So really marketers have to keep pace and nobody knows enough. I think we love, live in a world where nobody knows enough and we're constantly being bombarded with content. So increasingly brands play a larger role. I would like to say that in a world where there's so much uncertainty, there's so much flux, uh, brands continue to be the guiding force. Um, today when you talk to millions and young leaders, uh, they not only talk to their families, their grandfather, father, mother, but they talk about their experiences and their interfaces with brand. Some of those experiences and interfacing are defining moments of these millennials' life. So, in this increasingly connected, digital, paradoxical world, brands show the way because leaders are failing. Thank you. God bless.